So the assignment was, Kimball, draw a picture of us looking frantic. <laughs> and you drew us looking very happy and calm. Can you explain the reasoning behind? Are we happy and calm? We've got twitchy eyes, wavering smiles. Wait, let me just zoom in so we can all see it. We've got twitchy eyes, wavering smiles. Your brows are raised. Like, am I doing the right okay, thing? Okay, I see. I see it more now. Our I hair is tousled. Got it. Okay, I, I mean, see it now. I don't look like you know Drew Barrymore Firestarter normally. That's true. But today I do. So today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway why are we the same person today <laughs> wait 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 welcome back to kimball's corner Hi. hey everybody Hope today's you snack that ad. today's snack is dolcetti chocolate cream cream filled cookies oh thank you home goods cutting these open immediately because i need some sugar how is home goods like the go-to for snacks every single week by the way because they get new shipments in all the time okay carry on with your little story Okay, so just quick recap. Well, I can't get the camera to just do it. Anyway. Well, I don't quick. think that does not look like the same thing. Ew. I'm eating it. Sure, it tastes great. So, um, mm. long story short, we put our house up for sale on Friday, like at midnight. So Friday, early, early in the morning. By 4, I'm sorry, by 7 a.m., we had four viewings. By the end of the day, we had nine viewings. The next day, how many viewings you had? Six? Mm -hmm. Then today, we had six, I think. Or five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long story short, there was a lot of viewings, multiple offers, but Kimball and I have not been in the house since <laughs> Friday. So we've just been living in my car. At least we get to sleep in the bed. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, our week has been crazy. And I've also been working, which has been tons of fun. <sighs> yeah, while he's working, I've been like packing up, decluttering. I mean, the shelves behind me are pretty much barren. This room is like empty and it's freaking me out. And I think the weirdest thing about all of this is like this life has just become normal to us now. Yay. So now that like literally well, don't we, even know what normal life is anymore. We acclimate really quickly to bizarre situations. Normalize crazy. As we're like freaking out. We're like, we're totally fine with this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today I thought I would just play with the layer cakes because I, like I said, I'm packing everything up. And I will be packing my large layer cakes to be shipped, but I do have the small layer cakes that I'm going to take with me. Okay. Just, you know, just to get by. So I need a paintbrush. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, we didn't even get into the house until almost, it was like 5.40, 5.30. We sat outside because there was an appointment from 5 to 5.30 and then no one came out of the house. And we were like, I guess they just never went in or they left before they probably we got left here. early, yeah. They want less people to view our property. But I did snap a quick pic of me working in the car somewhere. I don't know where it is. Anyway. Well. Oh, here it is. This is this is the temporary work setup in the car. I don't know if you can actually see that. No, it worked out pretty well. No, you look really good. It yeah. was bright. I don't know how else to. I'm going to gently moisturize my layer cakes. If you get them too wet, they can kind of um swell up. Moist. Word de jour. Moist. So, just doing a little spritz. I don't know which colors I'm using. Dolores says, hello, everyone. Hey, Dolores. How's it going, girl? We're having a wonderful, true spring day. It's our first. Oh, yeah, we are. Are you talking about us? Because we are, for sure. Um, We. we she we? says we. That uh, means everyone watching and on the planet is having a good time and a spring day. That's true. Um, I'm just going to say right now, since I'm doing this on pink, I'm probably going to use like these teal greens and stuff for like the pops of color because they complement. So that'll probably be her hair. Oh, oh. Hey, hi. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Everyone hey. listening, how's your week? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, how are you? What's happening? Doing? How y'all? How's it going? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to do Jane's, like, uh, she does a, the slapdash technique where you kind of just slap. Slap it! Get your hands out of my shot! Where you slap <laughs> down. Slap uh, it! Just paints just the colors. Give it shape. But, like, you're not overly rendering a nose or anything. You're just, it's the Slap idea. it! Listen, I if, love it's called, you if it's called so slap much. paint, I'm going to have to be obnoxious. I'm sorry. It's like slap chef. Remember? Anyway. Yum, yum. I don't even want to get into describing it because I'm too tired. Mm, you can't tell that you're super nasty. Dolores clarified and she <laughs> says, I mean in the little town of, and then it just goes blank. Oh. So thank you for that clarification, Doris. We appreciate that. that does it's help. a beautiful spring day in the town of but, um, dot dot dot. Slap some colors. I'm sure she's frantically um, typing in the name of the town now. 
maybe she just wants to keep it a secret. We just want to get make Dolores as nervous as possible. <laughs> I'll always Fort think. Erie. Fort Erie. I'm Googling that or I'm looking it up. Fort Erie. I'm gonna find a picture of her house. Um, that's terrifying. Canada. Okay, Fort Erie. Oh, it looks like oh. a nice layout of a town though. It's by oh, you're are you by Niagara Falls? Like right across from Buffalo? My friend lives in Buffalo. Who? Naomi. She lives in Rochester. Rochester, close enough. Um, we're good Rochester? friends. You're really good. Uh, where is Rochester? Oh, well, it's not too far away. Close. She was looking in Buffalo, though. That's why I got confused. Sure, um, sure. Noah says, my week, semicolon, time-wasting computer glitch, student minor car accident insurance hassle-less. Wait, didn't you just Hassles. have a car accident, like, somewhat recently? Well, it's Noah. That's true. Uh, it was all those comics. And then Lauren says, hi, everyone. Hi. And, and then she does come. wave. I'm looking at pictures of Fort Erie right now because I've never really looked. Oh, it's beachy. I keep wanting to grab the pink. And for some reason, my brain is like, no, go with the orangey brown color. The first picture that pulled up when I looked up Fort Erie was like a picture of a beach with a ton of people. So naturally, I'm looking for someone doing something crazy. Good. Just naturally, that's what's going to happen. Nothing. Boringness. Let me look up actual pictures of the city here. Fort Erie. Old Fort Erie. Let's take a look at that. Oh. Yeah, old fort. Temporarily closed. Oh. It's not going to work. Let's just do a street view randomly. Ranch houses. They're cute little brick houses. <gasps> Look at this little one with the yellow door. Wouldn't that be funny oh, if that was cute. her house? Well, that would be spooky. 184, number 184. All right. Lippies. Lip. Oh, I should, should lighten up her neck. It's just a little dark down there. Noah says, thanks for the comics. By the way, some You're of welcome. them are already being used for character studies. Nice. You know, some of them were worth like 50 bucks. I'm sure the kids appreciate that. That's good. I really don't know. I just made that up. Um, Lauren says, I missed last week and have been dying to ask, how long after the move will it be before you guys pick up the accent? Um, I don't know if we will, because I've we've watched some people that have lived in England for years and they, they don't have the accent. I might try and make a fool of myself. I feel like that's more probable. <laughs> Us pretending or like trying to do it, but like never like feeling comfortable enough to do it in public. It's also funny because there's a lot of British sayings that like love the way they sound, love saying them, but I think I sound stupid saying them with my American accent because it just doesn't, doesn't seem like it sounds right to me. Like tickety boo, I love saying it. it. Just doesn't seem like it sounds right coming out of my mouth. Um, Trisha says, hi everyone. I don't know what's happening tonight, but I had no comment. Couldn't see them or write them. And then the little picture of someone with their hands up going, hmm. Not my problem. That's what it was like. Not my problem. I'm going to give some berry lips. I can like scooch these a little closer so you guys can see my wonderful collection. I also have the neons off to the side. I'm I'm keeping them out of reach so I don't go to them too much because y'all know I love to pop neons into everything. So they'll be for like the end. Probably. Kimmel, spent, Kimmel brought his uh, drawing pad and some art supplies and just wherever we were at, he was like drawing pictures. So we were at like a Starbucks and then we were at like a cafe and I think you drew something in the car at one point. Probably. It sounds like something I would do. He, we, he'd really taken the operation on the road. <laughs> but I'm like, nobody gets to watch me. I'm, I'm like sitting in the corner. I'm like, don't look at me while I draw. I feel like we've been more productive while we've been forced out of our house. Like we went clothes shopping for my new job. Like we went like. That's more of like, oh my God, they don't have the same stores over there. So we need to get the stuff we know and like here. All right. Just in case. Met with a friend I hadn't seen in years. Just oh, like all these lovely. things. Met with Lizzie B. Good that, friend from Philly. It was good timing because she was visiting family and she passes through where we live. Uh, I'm going to give her bigger eyes. Just... Um, Lauren says, did your house sell already? We cannot um, say Your pictures so were great, much. Rocky. Thanks, Lauren! I say we shouldn't really say talk too much about the house until yes. things are official. Yes. We'll say, we'll say Ethically, that. Ethically, I don't think we're really supposed to say anything, but I will say it's going well. When it's all said and done, then we'll talk. Kim and I feel very grateful and hashtag blessed. Yeah. Um, 
And we will fill you in probably next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You tell him. I will say it is crazy town. Yes. I can say that much. I've never experienced anything like this before. It's bizarre. I mean, we've only sold two houses before this. But, but it, I, I thought that was like what we experienced during those two was normal. No. Yeah. This is a whole other cray level. Her eyes are uneven. We're fine with this. Lauren says high five and party streamer thing that looks like a bouquet of roses. Mm, that sounds to me seems anyway. Fun. I'm going to have another cookie because I deserve it. <laughs> they're not as good as I thought they were going to be, though. But they're still good. You know what's like the most disturbing thing about having so many showings is like, how many people pooped in my toilet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, I want to wipe the seat down. It was weird coming home and like, it doesn't smell like our house. It's like our house, but then like, there's like this weird cologne perfume smell added to it. Kimball woke me up this morning. He's like, our Zillow's a hot property now. <laughs> or it's on Redfin. Or Redfin, whatever it is. I don't even know what, how they figure out what a hot property is, but. Yes, see the compliment? Mm. Compliment colors are so lovely. I do know last night that uh, someone wanted to see what the roof looked like. And so I literally had to get the ladder out and go up on my roof at like 7 p.m. frantically to like film the roof before it was dark. That's so pretty, by the way. Because they're compliments. Uh, I know, right? Have you done that combination yet on the paper? No, I don't think I've done a painting yet on the pink. Okay. And that, I mean, I specifically chose it because I wanted to do this color. The layer cakes are so vibrant. Plus it's just fun painting on colored paper. I'm debating if I want to like leave that pink showing through like in the hair, but then it makes her hair look super thin and kind of strange. So maybe not, maybe I'll leave some bits here and there. Let's see what's happening on here. Um. Lauren says, bidding war fun. Hmm. Um, and Noah says, for those of you joining tonight, Krang is drawing a female cake. Nailed it. I'm going to leave a little bit of that pink trailing through. I'll give her teal eyebrows. I like painting with layer cakes. It's easy and chill and relaxing. Plus they're super matte, so you can always like layer up on top pretty easily with other stuff. Hmm. Oh no, it was timed out. Oh, Sorry, Noah. this comment wasn't cool enough. I'm gonna go bright yellow on the Don't shirt. Don't give up, Noah. Keep trying, bud. Let's see. Lawrence, I'll get him, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it, has, it hasn't been fun without, you know, timeouts. I have to take my shoes off. Why am I still wearing these? Why am I still wearing pants? Mine Put on my jean or my little sweatpants. Mine were off the second I walked in the house. I was like, free me from this burden of two, dressing. Two of the shirts I bought for work are like workout shirts that are, or no, they were like night shirts that are like, you put it on and you're like, am I wearing any fabric? But they felt so nice. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like wearing clothes, but not wearing clothes. You just want to like. You know, be all comfy and take a nap while you're at work. No, I just want to be able to move freely and not have, I don't know. I just like, it felt so much cooler. Like it wasn't retaining any heat. It just felt like I wasn't, I could just, you know, be like free. Freedom. I'm going to bring a little neon yellow. Actually, I'll do pastel Jenna yellow. says, it's been a while, so I figured he needs to be reminded. <laughs> Me too. I didn't Hey, Kimball, quite yeah, art. Too. Yeah, what about it? Art, it's huh? A, it's a thing. Huh? Yeah. Don't you think? Art. Yes. Am I right? Sometimes. Okay. Just get crazy with it, Kimball. Just like a creative expression. Nothing nothing you can do is wrong. Oh. Nothing you could possibly do. Uh-oh. You stay over there. Is that what you wanted? No. no. Question everything. And I question I nothing. I might just use this regular yellow and just add it into it. Oh, what? no. Uh? Yes, you did. What do those represent, Kimball? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I do want to do like some kind of... Is that her memories? Yeah. Are those options um, for deodorant she can possibly buy? Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, I'm She's like, which one should I get? Let's see if I do this. I want to keep it kind of thin so the pink still shows through. But I want to create it as a background. I should have done this before. Yeah. 
But it doesn't matter. No, you can just do splotchy things. Because it's my painting and it's my Missy book. says, hello, all lovelies. Hi. She's only talking to the lovelies out there, okay? So, so don't... you know, me and everyone else, except you. Okay, that's fine. I, I accept this. <laughs> Remember we went on that walk in nature? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. It was really good time. You guys remember that? That walk in nature we did? We do stuff. We literally walked into this area not too far from our house. And I was like, are we in Narnia? Like, what is happening? It was just... It's like, we've been there before, but we took a different path. It was like no one else existed in the world. It was just all these little clovers and little yellow flowers and deer footprints, but no deer. Frogs and tadpoles that Kimball couldn't see. And Rocky's like, look at that frog. And I'm like, that's water. <laughs> that is a deadly. I don't think you were trying very hard, Kimball. I think you were just pointing at things and being like, my imagination is amazing today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself to anybody. I have iced coffee today because it's warm. Hmm, what color should I make her eyes? Green. Something colorful. Okay. Not the same color as her hair, though. I was gonna do like this color green up here. Yeah, try I that. could do like a yellowy green or a bright green. Right. Okay. Bright green it is. You could even mix a little yellow with that. We'll see what happens. That's pretty. You know what? You're pretty. Thanks. It's hard to see. Sorry, I'm gonna pop my head in real quick. Okay, we're looking at things. Oh, you got a green headband on. Everyone's just noticing. Now they're gonna superimpose all sorts of things over that green headband. Oh Kimble. no. Um, let's do a really dark bluey color for like pupil -y stuff and eyelashes. I should really pick out a different brush. Lauren says Kimball should paint that Rocky. He loves landscapes. What were we talking about earlier that you should paint? <laughs> Our walk. Our walk, yes, he should. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, no. No. I mean, right. you could literally just do dots. That Actually, layer cakes would work really well for that. Oh my god, maybe. You should try it, Rocky. I mean, I could. You totally could. Hold on, head back in. Sorry. Just... Could I, okay, could I, should, I, need, okay. I need to switch my brush. This one's a little too chonky. Okay, okay. Getting into the details. Is there a blue page on there? Yes, there's a teal and a dark navy blue. Okay, because I could do it on that one. What, are you going to paint a picture? I don't know. We'll see how I feel after this. I am somewhat tired. Um, and what am I? Just for now. Everybody's working on the weekend. Isn't that how the song goes? I'm not working on the weekend. I was like, I'm not working any day. Are you? I mean, <laughs> I, I guess I'm like kind of working right now, but like, I don't think this is work. This is fun. But you're not working. You're like working it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend told us about Yes Island. Yes Island. Where was okay, that? This is too chunky. I need to get the smaller brush because I want to do more. Oh, details. Yes Island in Dubai. All right. So we make it pretty watery. So it's easier to get on the paper. It's an aisle with a racing circuit, Kimball. And it has Ikea um, Abu Dhabi. Oh, that sounds... And Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. Sounds like not something I'm interested in. Yeah. I mean, I go to Ikea. Sea World Abu Dhabi. I don't think I would go to Abu Dhabi. Probably not. Why? Because it sounds Specifically, hot. Specifically, yes. It just sounds hot, and I don't like hot anyway. Kimball, don't say never, okay? I didn't say never. It just sounds like a place I don't, I don't want to go. Let's mix this Woo! just with whatever colors up here. I'm looking for just an eyelid crease. So it's going to be like a dark brown because I did blues and orange. Just to get a little eyelid crease in there. Some other little bits and bobs. Paint a little nostril. I'll have to go make a darker color for the nostrils. But this is a good little, like, you know, I can kind of see them. And we'll mix a little red. Trisha says, I have been gardening on the weekend, which is sort of working, but better. 
I agree. I totally agree. That is nice, though. Um, and that's all I've got. Sorry. Well, you that's all it. the comments you have there. Well, Isn't she looking lovely, Kimball? Aren't you loving her? She's looking all right. She's coming along. Jenna asks, what did you plant this weekend? Besides lies! Uh, no, I'm just kidding. What plants did you plant? There was a drop of water on my brush and I had to get it off because I didn't want it to like smear down onto the page. As I darken her breathe holes. Ooh. I'm sorry, are you tired over there? I am, I am tired, but I'm going to gotta stay awake until bedtime. I'm gonna take a nice shower after this. Actually, I have to cook some salmon. I'm not. I'm. I learned my lesson. I don't cook salmon during lives because if I do, I end up cooking it for three hours. Yes. Yes, you did. Um. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the medium sized brush to do like a jawline line, the line, line, the line, line. And I'm usually I'm gonna do a fun color. Maybe I'll bring in the the fun colors for this. Not that they aren't all fun colors, but the neons. And you know I'm going for neon pink. We can do a little tear duct or a little, yeah, that's a tear duct. That's what that is. A little pop on the cheeks. And we'll just do a little line right there. Layer cakes are such a cool art supply, by the way. Like, I love it every time you use them. Yes. Like, I like the other stuff you do too, but there's just something like, it adds excitement and the colors are so vibrant and like the way they lay and, and layer together is so interesting. Yes, I agree. Also, this neon pink looks really cool with this teal color because it turns like this really pretty purple. So I'm going to do just a little bit of that in her hair. But not too much. Like, I feel like of all the art supplies that I've seen with Jane, like these would want to make me experiment the most. Yeah. If I Like if I was actually using them. But I think that's a good thing because like, Prompting experimentation is oftentimes how people learn new techniques and like new approaches that they want to do. That is so true. True words have never been spoken. I feel like she needs like a better blobby color in the background, but I'm not sure which one to. The yellow is nice though because it's like bouncing off of her shirt. I know, but or I it's might, like bouncing I'm, out. I might actually just do white. Lauren says, um, "I had my husband plant some perennials, hoping that the deer don't eat these." And then she says, try them, Rocky. Like, she doesn't want the deer to eat them, but she wants me to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that right? I get what she's saying. She wants me to eat flowers. Um, I'm not as good at mark making as a lot of other people, but I still enjoy doing it. Noah says, to pat the salmon dry, rub it lightly with oil, and cover it with a thick layer of miso honey and crushed garlic. What is this, Jamie Oliver? I've tried the miso. On that was, the fish. That was good on tuna. Like, you did a really good job with that when you made that. I thought it was just all right. It was really good. It was for your first time. I, well, I appreciate the suggestion, Noah. But I have my own way of doing it, and I don't stray from things I'm comfortable with. That's true. Is anyone else that way where, like, you find one way of doing something, you're like, oh, that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. No one can ever change it. Me, a lot of times. It's called stubborn. Oh, well. <laughs> Me... <laughs> Would you say your how would you describe your personality, Kimball? I am like the most lovable, carefree, go with the flow kind of guy you're ever gonna meet. Lies. <laughs> I don't know. I am actually pretty open to whatever. I mean, if I don't like something, I'm like, no thanks. But I'm not gonna like get all upset about something. I drove Kimball to work with me. Um, well, I didn't have anywhere else to go really. I think what was that Friday? Think so. And he sat with me in our studio for I don't even know how long it was like hours, and I just snapped a picture of him <laughs> chilling there at one point, looking my best. And I was like, "This is basically what my life's like, Kimball." Except there wasn't a shoot happening or anything. Mm -hmm. How was it being at the uh, in the studio? It was good. I I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to do it every day. Everyone's super friendly there, though, right? Yes. Like it's not often that you go into a workspace where everybody was pretty dang cool. And I don't know if I shared this with you, but our neighbor's cat, I was doing flowers and he decided just to crawl on my back and just mount me. So I don't need, I don't know if he's been watching too much Ratatouille or what's happening, but 
Why, why Ratatouille? He thought that was the place to go. Because in Ratatouille, the rat controls the guy. Was he controlling you? Yeah. Well, I mean, he stayed there for long enough. I'm going to just do a little shadowy color. Trisha says, lots of sunshine and blue skies. I haven't planted anything this week, but I have ordered some geraniums and more seeds and strawberries. My neighbor gave me some tomato plants called Choco Cherry. Oh, I love those. Is it Choco Cherry? I don't know. Choco Cherry. I just, Choco you know, the way you pronounced it was beautiful. Um, Trisha says, they look like um, Maltesers, and when they are all grown, what's Malte Malteser? Malteser? There's a lot of words I'm not understanding, Trisha. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to catch me up to speed. And then Missy says, Kimball looked bored in the pic. Huh. And then Noah says, the local subway got robbed this weekend. Speaking of random things. And then Missy says, that is big. And I put a cat with a little sly face. <laughs> oh, that's a big cat. Gotcha. That's a big cat. It is a big cat for sure. Let me use a little orange. It looks like you're making like paint bokeh in the background. Okay. I'm adding orange for just some, I don't know, interest in the shirt. Shadows, streaks, patterns, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm doing. And then we just get rid of the rest of the paint. Is she done? Uh, I love it, though. I do, too. I don't want to keep pushing it because I like where it's at right now. Well, then don't do it. Well, there she is. Oh, my Lord. It's been 26 minutes, Kimball. Way to I, just rush through that. Well, it's fast when you do layer cakes. And then Trisha confirms it's pronounced malt e sir chalk covered honeycomb. Nailed it. I think you nailed that pronunciation. Malti sir. Malti sir. Malti sir. You're a Malteser. Rocky, you gonna paint? I mean, I don't know if everyone really wants that. You know, I really don't. I think everyone thinks they do, but this is the same thing when everyone's like, I'm at a dance club and they're like, just dance, Rocky. It doesn't matter. Just dance. And no one cares. It's just about having fun. And then I start dancing and they're like, please Time stop. Time to go, Rocky. Please stop. Mm hmm. And I'm not even being obnoxious. I'm just trying to dance. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. We were wrong. It's like you need to go. It's like you're trying to feel yourself, feel the vibe. You're just like, it just looks really good. Because <laughs> I, mean, I like legit feel like I'm on the beat. I feel like, because I am like musically inclined. Like I understand the beat. I do get it. And I feel like I'm moving my body and to what makes sense. And everyone's like, that only works for you. Oh, I'm terrible at dancing, but I like to rock out in the kitchen. You see me at the clubs? No, thank you. No. Thank you. Noah wants me to paint a female Captain Planet, which isn't going to happen. Sorry, Noah. And then Denise says, go ahead and paint Rocky. So, Rocky, I have this blue paper. I have that blue paper. Um, Do that dark blue. And let me, will you grab that folder down there? Uh, what folder are you pointing at? The colorful thing in the very this front. One? No, no, no. This yep. one? That's okay. the word. There you go. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. I'm put this in here because I haven't sprayed it because layer cakes can cross transfer. That's why I don't use them in my journal too often. Mm. So you want the lighter blue? I don't want to ruin your piece. Is that going to stick to that? No. That's okay. why we like layer cakes. You want this color? Uh, or the, the darker color. Darker color. Like this color or that yeah, color? Yeah, I want the darker navy. Yeah. The darkest of the darks. All right. We'll clip that. We can clip that. Okay. All no right, so pressure. I mean, the water is dirty, so if it doesn't turn out perfectly, that's totally okay. Okay. We'll blame the water. All, All right, right, this everybody. is going to be my inspiration because someone told me I should draw this. So welcome to Kimball's Corner, where Rocky is taking the the reins. Oh, you're going to be upset if you miss this one. Oh, Denise, there's no stencil for Rocky. He's doing scenery. Which, is this my page right here? Good. Okay. Either side. So I want this giant brush here because it makes me feel really important. Can you use the other one? Yeah, but I don't because I like the big one. And I just want to hold it from here so I can be like... I like how you're looking at the screen. I want to make sure that like no one can see my hands and they just see things happening. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. Um, okay, well, I don't know how to paint. Let's just get into it, shall we? So layer cakes. Let's bring them into view so you guys can all see them the whole time. Cause... Oh, good night, Lauren. Enjoy your... Uh, oh, Lauren, you're going to your... be so sad you missed this. Well, she got a brownie Sunday, so that is reason enough to skip out. I agree. Uh, we don't really want the white and Hi, black Janice. there, so let's just flip it that way. There we go. Oh, look at those colors. That's what I'm talking about. So this is oh, my inspiration. Wait, Denise, yes. Rocky, 
You can do it. Denise believes in you. Thank you. It's Just so, so everybody knows, Rocky is painting right now. Thank you, if they couldn't tell already. Um, okay, so I, this is my inspiration, and I'm just going to take the emotions I was feeling when I was here and go with that. But I'm not going to use the same colors, and I'm going to just go with the flow here. So first color I want to go with is going to be this purple. Yes, I see a lot of purple in that image, so I see where you're going with this. Yeah, you should. I'm going to eat more cookies because I'm stressy. Ooh, it's pretty on the blue. And you can also, like, thicken it up. Like, um, it'll lay down thicker. Oh, if you use, like, this color here, babe. Yeah. Similar, but it'll lay down um, a little more solid if you want. I have lots of colors over here. You guys just can't see them. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Here, I just spit cookie all over me. Good job, Kimmy. You're welcome. Mmm, pretty colors. Oh, and in this, in the bottom, there's like little bumps to clean the pigment. Oh, yeah. Swipe because girl, has little, that I just like wiped a bunch of. Well, that's fine. It'll pick up. Yeah, that's fine. But like, it'll clear your, you know, scrub it on the bottom of this thing to get the binder off. Okay. People are excited about you painting. Are they? I'm sure. You can get away with anything here, Rocky Brewer. Oh, okay. If anyone can do it, it's Kimball. I mean, Rocky. <laughs> it's Rocky. You know, when it comes to scenery, it's all about Rocky. He's uh, he's completed the master class of nonsense. There's a lot of colors that you're not seeing that I'm using over here, but they're just so pretty. I can't. They can see like three or four colors into where you're working. Okay, good. You know, if you were better at this, you would get them in frame. I agree with you. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Oh, and also, if you don't want them to, like, mix, or if you do, keep doing what you're doing. But if you don't want them to mix too much, you can dry them yeah. in between. Yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of picking that up. And then they will still, since they're uh, water reactive, they if you work it too much, it'll still okay. mix once it's dry. Okay, gotcha. Um, Rocky, how are you deciding which colors to use? Jenna would like to know. I am basically looking at the page after I laid a color down and I look over and I just decide which color I'm attracted to based on that. So it's, I'm not like making any clear decisions here. I'm just looking at like warm, cool, warm, and I'm going to probably pick a cool color again or something bright. And welcome strawberry Dawn. I think it's I'm okay going to work. go with. I just don't want to overthink it. I think that's the problem. Also, if you dry it, they will layer brighter on top of each other. I'm also going to be going back over these once these dry up here. So don't think this is all this is going to be. I just am trying to lay down the foundation. Um, okay. Agreed about the pink and the aqua making a beautiful purple. Yeah. I mean, this is so pretty together. Mm -hmm. And this, that, Basically, I'm just using the shape of the brush like, to make like a fence post shape to make like a background. And then I'm going to go back over and do details. I'm obsessed with that right there. Like the orange on top of that tail, like that pinky orange coral color on the tail is really pretty. Yeah. I wish it was as vibrant on camera. I think I'm just going to go for yellow. I'm going to go for yellow. I wish it was as vibrant on camera as it is in real life. So you'll notice like whenever I post my pictures after these, I always like try and make the photo look more to what it looks like in real life. Yes, this is the color for sure. All right, Rocky, is this composition primarily focused on color, line, or negative space? I don't know. Noah would like but to know. So you talking about that one? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? It is based on my emotions. I'm purely not caring. I'm just like thinking about how I felt when I was there, and I'm looking at colors, and I'm like, yep, I like this color. Yeah, the neons are better on like white paper just because they are. Yeah, like I'm trying to more keep opaque. it, I want to make it opaque, or like, I want to make it... Yeah, it's, it'll be more golden, but it will lay down like a more opaque color. Let me just see if I can just put more water on here and make it a bit more like, whoop. yeah, that's what I want. Just but it, like, it'll sink into the page. Yeah. And dull, so just so you know, you'll have to layer them up. That's fine. I just, I need like a little yellow here. You're giving Janice a psychedelic vibe. All right. That's cool. Let's clean off this brush. And next color we're going to go with is this one here, so which I don't think you've touched yet. It looks like it's brand new. Are you, oh, no, it's the neon red. I've touched it. Have you? Did you touch it? I did. Um, let me dry this, actually. You might get some neon orange. I was going to say. Like, actually, yeah. no, I don't, I don't want to dry it. I'm just going to go for it. You know, you're insane. Yes, I'm loving this. 
I mean, you're just laying down neons, Rocky. You're getting crazy. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Um, Casey Golden. <laughs> she likes her dookie earth colors. Although, since she's been doing like the year of the crown, she's been getting very into like the vibrant colors. For those of you who don't know Casey Golden is, Kimba will tell you right now. She's an artist on YouTube who does very cute, stylized, like her art style is very adorable. This is teal, Noah. So if you, I don't know if it looks teal on you there, but it's teal. Yeah. It looks bluer. It's like leaning life. towards sky blue now that it's wet though. I wonder how to make this camera truer to real life because it looks bluer in real life. I need life. to dry this though because I don't want these mixing. Yeah. Is that it? Why is it so like quiet? Um, it dries pretty quick, though. Everyone, bear with. I know this isn't the most riveting, but it's gonna it's gonna really just blow your mind. Hey, you'll never believe what happens next. <laughs> Wait until the end. We've been keeping a secret. Noah says there's definitely a suggestion of line with the multiple layers of grass. Mm -hmm. Crafty Amy, I love the layer cakes. Excited to see them used. I love them too, and I'm glad you're enjoying. They are so unique. I just got the sushi roll set and the gods and monsters inks this week. Thanks for sharing. Oh my god, I wish you were here. Like I already finished my piece, so Rocky is now using or doing his piece. We we got Rocky to paint. We're not sure why he agreed to paint today, but hey, we're actually to... feeling it. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm inspired by this landscape. I'm gonna do something. And oh, I have gods and monsters inks too, but I'm leaving them in the plastic wrap because I'm packing them in my suitcase to go on the plane. And it makes, it's just less risky with them leaking if they're still all packaged up. So hopefully I'll be okay taking that on the plane. I don't know if I can. Okay. I guess I can throw it in luggage. We are now going with a very bright red. Okay, one of them big reds. Isn't big red like a bubble gum? Yes, it or was. I guess it a was, big gum. Anyway. Wow, I haven't had gum in years. I've never been a fan of gum. I used to be obsessed with Big Leaf Chew, but just because there was like, you know, some guy on it chewing gum and it was like stringy and weird. I didn't really like the taste of it necessarily. Yeah, they are beautiful. I agree. Remember the gum in the Cabbage Patch Kids? Uh-oh. Like when you had the, the card sets, there would be a stick of gum it's in like, there. Oh. But it wouldn't be wrapped. It would just be in with the cards. Well, that's how you know it's nice and crunchy at first. I used to like the, uh, it was, it looked like chewing tobacco, but it was ground up like jerky. Yeah. Which was really good. And I'm like, why are they like kind of mimicking bad things for kids to eat? So the red basically is sinking in very, very quick and it's not as vibrant as I want. So I'm just going to go back over it and just do like a couple brighter. Big red soda is a Texas thing. Hmm. I've never heard of it. Ah, uh, thank you, Jenna. I will definitely put them in my checked luggage. What? Uh, the inks. Oh, okay. Because somebody was like, you can have a bunch of ink, like liquid as long as each container is under a certain amount. But I'm like, that just sounds weird. But I mean, I'll pack it with all like our toiletries and stuff. And, you know, since we're taking everything we've ever owned in our entire lives. Yeah, some of these colors, I think you have to layer up more um, than others. Yeah, well, sure. also, like, depends on how much water you start off with. Because if you start off with it really thick. Yeah. Like right now, it's really thick, which is nice. Because you can lay that. Like, if you do another swipe on the red, you can do it anywhere on the page. And it'll be pretty red. And it's also drying faster. Yeah. I mean, especially when there's less water, obviously. And then I'm just going to pick a couple more colors here because I don't want to keep everyone waiting. But So the Big Red Soda tastes like cream soda with a hint of fake strawberry. That sounds just delicious. For this green. You know, when I drank soda, I think my favorite thing was a Diet Vanilla Coke. Mm. When that came out, I was with Justin Landers, we went to Walmart and got one, and I was like, this is amazing. And my new favorite thing ever. The more you know. So, da, da, da. Mm. Getting a little risky doing green on red. I know. But don't worry. I mean, just don't let it mix too much, or it'll turn like either gray or brown. Well, I, nice, need, to, I need to dry those. It'll turn to more. a nice neutral. And why do they still have big red soda if nobody likes it? Wait, was it a soda or was it? Yeah, no, I was saying they have like a, a big red soda. Oh, I had nitro Pepsi and nitro vanilla Pepsi this week. They were good. Ooh, I haven't had that. I mean, I won't drink soda, but I was curious about like the nitro sodas coming out. It's like big red soda still being made and somebody's buying it, but nobody knows who. <laughs> His name's Dave. 
Oh, Dave, you need to cut it out right now. No, Dave loves it. I don't know. Dave has memories of like, you know, family functions when he was a kid and his uncle drinking it with him. And I don't know where that story is going, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used to go to the park and drink sodas together. Oh, I do miss feeding the ducks at the park, though. But this know. isn't about ducks, Kimball. I know, but that's what I did at the park. I'm waiting for the tree to come into play. Three. I didn't say I was painting this exactly. I'm just painting it based on like my emotional state. I know. I was just starting out that I think you should paint a tree. We will see. A and W cream soda is good, especially for when you do like the shakes or like a float. I wish I had like another camera in Rocky's face when he gets all pensive and he just like puts his hand on his chin and looks at all the colors like, mm, what's the next brilliant move I'm going to make? No pressure. Oh, you're doing like almost like two compliments like surrounding the green. You got like the red and green, very Christmassy, very pretty. And then you like a little, a berry color. Well, don't spoil it for everybody. I mean, I don't... Wait. Rocky, it's like a Monet, says Missy Lulu. Oh. Well, if, that anyone, is a if anyone wants to buy it. <laughs> it's in my journal. Oh my gosh, I'm giving paintings away to people that I know now. Yeah, I was like, that's a dangerous thing to say on here. Mm. We basically are in like desperate state where we're like, do we want to keep moving things? Well, I know we don't have nearly as much wall space in the new space. So that, we know, can't, that's right. Like we can't even hang up half of my art here. So I'm just like, I started giving a lot of it away. And so a, lot. a lot of them are prints too. They're not like originals or anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it says throw some water lilies on it. If you want it to be a true Monet. I think you've gone full circle with the colors. I have. No, no, I guess you technically started with this purple. How does the white behave? Good. You could also you could do like little white ovals and put yellow dots in the middle like Casey does, and they look like little egg yolks, but then they look like flowers. Gotcha. I mean they look like little fried eggs basically it's a cute little style i don't know how she can draw anything in her style and you'll look at it and you'll go yes that is a casey golden art piece no matter what she draws well there's that it reminds me of an aspen tree or a birch And sometimes, I mean, since this is just paper, like sometimes the white might sink in a little bit. And don't worry, I'm going to come back over that with colors in a minute. Mm, I'm very into what you're doing right now. Do you think it's weird that we've had like probably like 20 strangers in our house in the past like two days. I mean, I definitely think it's weird. <laughs> I like whenever I come back, I'm like, is everything in its place? Is that, are we good? I feel like I had to hide things. Our realtor was like, hide your Fabergé eggs. <laughs> uh, uh. I was like, and I was like, okay, so we'll hide all the pushing stuff. I know, I'm like, the most important. Is there anything you don't want stolen? And I was like, immediately thinking of all the like things you have, like they're just figurines. I know. I was like, the most expensive thing I have is probably like this giant statue from Home Goods. Are you going to do like the dark stripes on it like they do like on Aspen? I'm something? not like fully sure. I just know I'm going to make some changes to this. Yeah, is it the Aspen that has the lines on it? Is that what I'm thinking? Um... Yes, it ha and it has like you it has like little knots on it as well. It's very similar to a birch, it just has a different. Um, I think they have different leaves. Birch tree. Ah, oh, thank you, Missy Lulu. Thank you. I think is her name Bev Doolittle. I think she used to do. She Bev does, Dewey. <laughs> I think she does paintings where like it was a bunch of like birch or aspens, and then it had like a bunch of horses in it. So it's like you kind of have to look at it to be able to see them clearly. It's really cool. She does kind of like hidden pictures.
It's so weird being on this side of the tree. I'm this, sure. This side of the tree. I was reading comments. Shut up. <laughs> um, okay, the color. <laughs> this is the color one. That is the one. It's like a strawberry red. It's a good color for like a lighter lip. It just feels like spring to me. Like when I look at them, oh, that's a spring. That's springtime. That's a spring. Straight from the bed. I'm going to move this out of the way a bit. Do you want me to clean your water? Are you fine? Yeah, I think it's fine. It's one thing I don't like about like using any kind of paint with uh, binders and stuff like acrylics and whatnot. Is that it like dirties up the water really quick. Noah's dad had a bunch of Bev Doolittle stuff. So yeah, Bev Doolittle. My dad had her stuff as well. He was very excited when he discovered like a calendar by her. He's like, Kimball, look at this. This is amazing. And I was like, that is amazing. Not what I want to do, but I will look through this for inspiration. They were all up in our den. You had a den. You're fancy. So basically, I'm just taking the paintbrush upside down now, and I'm creating like an opposite shape to the grass things at the bottom with just making like leaves so I can fill this in. And I'm just doing like a light touch. And then as it dries out, as it goes up, that's fine. And then I'll go back in and kind of go back over them again with another layer. And I'm going to come across here as well. Are you going to have like two or three just falling in the wind? I may. Well, you never know. I never do know. It's like this thing's kind of in the way up here, but... Is anybody else having just like beautiful, like blooming cherry blossoms everywhere right now? Cause we do. And it's like, they stay around for like a week and then we get like this spring super wind storm thing happening. And then like, they're just literally gone in like a day. So it's like, you really gotta enjoy them while they're here, but we have uh, so many flowers yeah. out right now and so many like pinks and like white and pale pink trees. And there's also like those super, like they look fake, like the super purple ones, fuchsia. Mm -hmm. No idea what tree that is, but it's really pretty. Is Rocky painting a happy tree? Noah would like to know. I feel like I want this to dry out a bit more. Not be so wet. Rocky's turned his painting to answer that question. Slowly pieces coming off. This here. looks like pointillism. Uh, George Surratt did a lot with dots. George Surratt. I don't know. Maybe I pronounced that right. Ah, pointillism. Pointillism's fun. I think I did, I've done like maybe five stipple paintings in my life, or stipple drawings in my life. They just take way too long, but my dad was obsessed with one that I did of a duck. Why? I don't know. And then I did a really pretty one of like a profile of a male nude, but he was an angel. It was a tasteful nude. You didn't see anything. And it was used for like a choir program in high school. All right, the next color we're going to be doing. I can tell you're like super excited about my life. I'm like not even listening. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I want a oh, little bit. Yeah, you pronounced it right. I want a bit more energy. And so we're actually, sorry, I need to do a couple you more can, things here. I'm like, you could toss some neon yellow, just a couple of neon orange or neon yellow leaves. That's in what I'm planning. I just need to figure out what color I want to do. Because I'm just like, you could bring it up from the bottom so they kind of reflect each other. I do want a couple more bright ones through here and kind of go over and just do a couple. Yeah, Trisha, I hear that. Them leaves are everywhere. My dad literally cut down trees and bushes because he hated the leaves in his yard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it, but like it, it doesn't bother me too much. I guess it would if I had like, if, if like my flowers just ever being covered, but for just like the lawn, the grass, it doesn't, it wouldn't bother me. Just mow it up. And also, we need to keep in mind that we don't say backyard or front yard. We say garden. That is very true. Which is That's strange to way. me. Because, like, you know, garden to me is like a flower garden or like a veggie garden. Uh, this color. Ba, ba, ba. Where's that going? Um, I just need to... Ooh. Make this makes sense. Although I'm sorry, 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 so, sorry, sorry. So, you sound like Miranda. Sorry, sorry. It was my jacket. <laughs> oh, I love Miranda Hart. She's lovely. I'm gonna say now, if we run into anybody famous over in the UK, I might. I don't know. 
lose it a little bit. I know I don't really get like starstruck, but it's just, I guess they're just funnier. <laughs> I just like their shows better. I mean, you know, Jennifer Saunders, Joanna Lumley. Come on now. Little Miranda Hart. And I feel like you should flick white dots and have it be like a little starlit sky in the background since it looks like a dark nighttime. It wasn't the most obvious choice, but I had it on my brush and was like, you know what? I like these colors together. So that's happening. And that's how most people, well, not most, but a lot of people paint. Don't forget to pound that like button like veal for schnitzel. Mmm, that is... Sounds like a Noah comment. Delicious, it is. Yes, for more quality content such as this, like and subscribe. We're here every week that we possibly can. Sometimes we're not. I'll leave a note. <laughs> wow. So what you're saying is if I want Rocky to be quiet, I just have him paint. Yep. See how hard it is to paint and talk? I really do, Kimball. Wow. I just so appreciate everything about you now. I just mean, I say it all the time. Like, I get quiet and, like, it's like I struggle to do one or the other at the same time. It's, like, kind of difficult. Well, that's fine. You're the professional. You should be able to manage that. I'm getting there. Huh. It's only been 20 minutes. That might be a lie. I don't know when you started painting. Well, how fine. long has it been? What time is it right now? Like, how long How long does it say it's been? 7.51. Oh, I don't know. 51 minutes. Um, planning with John. So layer cakes, they are like gouache. Um, they, I mean, yeah, they're really like gouache. I like, I prefer these though, because they come in pans already. I just don't like having to squeeze things out of a tube. Uh, and plus I do have gouache. And when I did squeeze it out of a tube and then it did dry, it falls off my palette and I just lose a big chunk of pigment and that kind of upsets me. But I do like these and they are, they dry very matte. They, <clears throat> excuse me, they can be uh, reactivated with water and they lay down very nicely. And I mean, they're called layer cakes. So their whole, the whole thing about them is that you can layer up the colors. Mm. Which is what we're going to do now. Our heavy puppy is sitting on Jenna's shoulders right now. <laughs> but yeah, when you do layer them up, you want to make sure that the under, the under paint is nice and dry. And I want this to be a nice dry brush. I don't want it to be super wet because I want it to go you, down more like a... Are you, trying to like, are you trying to feather the bristles or do you want them to still be the point? No, it's, it's fine the way it is. No. I was just wondering like what you were going with with the dry brush. I just don't want it to look... I want to be able to control the strokes a bit more. You can also get a smaller brush. And then if you get it wetter, it's easier to do like fine line stuff. It kind of goes on like an ink. Hi, Sadie, and welcome. Rocky is painting right now. I did do a painting to start with. I don't even remember where it was. It's it's in the pink section. Oh, yeah, I guess I, I put my little Jane nonstick page in between them, so I can find that later. We'll show it at the end. Mm -hmm. We always show it for the fridge. Oh, yes, this is not the main event. This is just the... Uh, I don't even know if I'd call it a bonus chapter. <laughs> it's just a bonus. And yes, like they do have a chalky finish. Like when they dry, you can swipe your finger across it and you know, some of the pigment will come up, but it won't like change the look of your painting, but you'll see like a little dusting of like a pink on your finger or something. So you can spray fixative on them. I never do, but I might, cause I've been painting with them a lot more and I personally don't like, it does like a very minor cross transferring of like if you close the book on it. But for most people, that's not gonna bother them. If you paint on one side of the, like if I only like Rocky could close the book on this and it would be fine because it wouldn't there's only one painting between the two pages. What it's, am I doing? It's starting to look like the red tree in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Hi Cheryl. Hey, hey, hey. I think I uh, have not decided on like how I want this. I think I like just more of a texture. I don't want it to look like the strokes are going any certain way. I just want it to look more like 
Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's fun with layer cakes because you can just keep layering it up. Exactly. I just want it to look like S texture. You may want to dry it if you want that white to like start. Pumping. Yeah. You gotta you got quite a bit going on there. Fixative can give it a kind of pixelated look. I mean, how much fixative are you spraying on? I'll just come over with a few more leaves. <clears throat> I still think doing like three neon orange or yellow leaves in the tree would be pretty. Yeah, I'm just throwing that out. You don't have to. I'm just throwing it out there, sweetie. No, I feel you. And it's like, I feel like I want to turn on the air just because, but... It's going to be chillier for the next few days, so I'm just like, ugh, I don't want an AC on just for like an hour. Crack a window, why don't you? Let's do... What do you like better, orange or yellow? Um, if you do yellow, it could pick up the red in the tree already, so it might pull a little bit of an orange color. And if you do it like over here, like on this, like just so some of it touches the white, that'll really pop. And if you don't want it to be so bright, you, you know, don't do that. You can do what you want, though. Just, just turn it out there. I think this is less. I'm just going to do like smaller bits. <laughs> I'm like, i my breath. I'm like, oh, he's going to do it. My baby's going to do it. The neons don't have as much pigment, not pigment. Um, binder in it I think so they are a little bit thinner so you'd have to either lay them up but they they do work or you can also if you do like a white dot and then do neon do neon on top of it it definitely pops did you finish your thumbnail for work I have one of them oh, I thought you only had to do one no I have two sizes I have to do oh uh that's cool. I still need to finish um, fixing this down here now. One moment. Please hold. And Miss Lulu says, I think Rocky's been practicing in secret. It looks great. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. That's where all my paints are going. I think I'm just going insane. Like, am I painting in my sleep? No, it's just Rocky. Uh. Sneaking off painting. We were visiting with our friend today who we hadn't seen in, in oh, a few years. Mm -hmm. and she was just uh, giving us the lowdown on her, where she lives and the neighbors that she's had over the past few years. I'm just like, oh, I do not miss that apartment lifestyle. Nah. Mm -mm, no. Although we've been pretty lucky with pretty much all of our neighbors and everywhere we've ever lived. I don't know if we've had anybody that was too terrible to live next to. Hopefully we've always been good neighbors. You never know. You'd never know. That is true. Someone might just like, we're horrible. <laughs> no, I'm not pretty sure I'm not eating the paints. Paints are never the snack on Kimball's Corner. Although, all of Jane's stuff is non-toxic. So if I really got desperate, I could start snacking on some neon. We're, all, we're being quiet for the master at work. See, now I instantly want to take like a neon yellow and do like right next to that. And like, you know, I mean, that's how I work. What's your favorite color over there, Rock? Of everything on the page? I oh, just in front of you, all the colors. Hmm. I don't know. It, that's really hard. I really like this leaf color, like this coral. Yeah, corally red one. Um, and I really love this color here a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I think I'm leaning towards the warmer colors just in general. But mm -hmm. um, I did want to do one more color at the bottom. Excuse me. 
Yeah. Is it going to be a surprise color or a repeat color? I think a nice, delicious skin tone. Ew. A nice flesh tone. <laughs> really bring it home. I think I want to like ground it with the energy at the bottom. So what you're telling me is I'm going to have to order some more layer cakes. Obviously. I mean, if you give these to me, you should expect this. <laughs> I say play away. Play away, play away, play away. Although I am not excited that when I order stuff in the UK that I have to pay like the weird fee. What do you guys, what is that fee that you have to pay anyway? Because like, obviously Jane like pays to send it from where she is if you spend enough or you, or you pay. But then, like, don't you have to pay again when it gets to your door? I feel like that's a thing. I might be wrong. But I feel like a lot of people have said they've had to pay extra. You're extra. And then Noah's talking about some nice fleshy grass. And then VAT. Is that is that the uh, pay thingy? I don't know what VAT is. VAT? Is it a customs charge? Maybe. Like, it just seems weird that, like... Like if you buy, I don't know, I don't know how much it is. If you spend so much at Jane's place or just anywhere, really, I think if you order stuff from out of the country, like when I do, I pay, okay, for instance, I do a Kickstarter and it gets shipped to me from like Germany or the UK or something. Obviously I pay like $20 or something for shipping for like a book or whatever. And then it gets here and that's it. But like in the UK, people have said like, if somebody sends them something, that person pays the shipping or if they order something, they'll pay shipping. And then when it gets to their door, do they have to pay the postal service or something? I don't know. Value added tax. Huh. Well, we'll see. I'm just, and it's like, ooh, well, when that next size duties can apply, but we may have some sort of trade deal now with Australia. Oh, that's exciting. We're in the Legion Wales, so. Have you say person buy then ship to you as a gift? Huh. The more you know, shooting star. Da, da, I'm getting da, so much information. We had a custom and duty tax. Duty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems unfair. I wonder how many countries have to do that. The more you know, the more you learn. So now I'm just taking, because all these colors are like very like stark and I basically I'm just trying to do. Are they stark? Well, they're stark against each other. So I'm trying to get the same vibe that we had from this field where there was a bunch of these yellow flowers. Just, I, can you even see that? I don't know what you're seeing. Yeah. Um, where you see all the flowers dabbled in. So I'm just kind of like creating that look going across everything now. Or like, you know, the equivalent in my mind. And I'm going to go back over them to make them a bit more. I think we'd be great art teachers. We're like, we're painting this because this is how we picture it in our brain. <laughs> if I was a teacher, I'd be like, I'm doing this because I want to. I know. Don't we're... question me. It's like, I really, I never know how to answer that question when someone's like, why are you doing this, for instance? I'd be like, I don't know, because I want to. Like, it looks cool. <laughs> I did a couple. I liked the way it looked, so I just went with it. That's kind of how I do all my paintings. I am excited, though, that a lot of the... Uh, like a lot of Jane's new stuff's coming out in just stores. Mm. And I mean, it's being made in the UK. Hello. <laughs> I can just go to the store and get a lot of it <laughs> or order it locally. Do that. The taxes don't apply to like when you. A TV license tax. What? Oh, no. Uh, when you. um, I lost my train of thought. When you do something. I know. When you do something, does this happen? I think it happens all the time. Oh, that's true. I'm so distracted by the things that I have left in my room. There's literally like <laughs> 10 things left on the shelf. Why I left those 10 things, I don't know. It's not even art supplies. You just didn't care. You were done with it. Well, they were like, declutter, declutter, declutter. Who are they? People. Well, uh, well at first it was like declutter, so we could do like nice photos, but then it was like, Decla that, by declutter, he means like move everything to one side of the room and then take a picture and then move everything to the other side of the room. Take a picture. It was like sweeping under the rug, basically. You don't know me. But then like it was like hide all or pack up or hide or whatever. All the smaller things that could be easily pocketed. I'm just like, oh, my God, that's like everything in my house. So I just started packing everything. 
stay away from the illegal late night sausage carts. I mean, that kind of sounds exciting, Noah. There's illegal all night sausage carts? What? Well, just late night. Why are they illegal, though? Just because they don't have licenses or something? I mean, maybe. It also just sounds inappropriate. I know. I'm like, what city are we in? <laughs> Also, okay, I need to know, any Brits watching, um, I was reading about, oh, health licensing, Noah says, I was reading about black pudding. It does not sound very um, delicious to me, but I have never had it. So I will definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm going Is to Is it all the rage? That's what we need to know. Right. Is it worth trying? I mean, I will probably try it because you never know. But reading about it, I think, might have been a mistake. <laughs> because, ew. But I don't know, because I haven't had it. And a full English breakfast. I mean, I won't be able to eat a full English breakfast. But I will nibble on Rockies. I was just, basically, I found, like, this place, a, a little town. And I was looking at cafes and diners and stuff. And I was checking the menus. Cause that's who I am. I'm I'm a, I'm a preparer, and uh, I was just looking at their breakfast stuff, and I would be getting the vegetarian small breakfast. Thank you. Um, but I figured Rocky and I can at least for the first time split the full English breakfast and see how that goes. Black pudding basically tastes like American breakfast sausage. Yeah, Noah, I don't believe you. I don't think I believe you on that. Never read about strange foods or hot dogs, Cheryl. I agree. Black pudding, isn't it Scottish? Ooh, I don't know. I like scotch eggs. I don't, I haven't had scotch eggs. What are scotch eggs? Rocky, do you know? Um, they're an egg with like some kind of meat exterior. Um, by the way, I'm just taking yellow and going over the blue leaves. So they have like a border of blue, like they're hitting the sun that way. And that's just how that these leaves work in my world. And it's working. It's a nice little highlight. Get the full English. It's so good. I will. I mean, Rocky will. I'll eat, you know, a bite of everything off of his plate and be full. I grew up with English breakfast, so it's not like, I'm not, it's not unusual to me. Okay, but this full English, like, I'm just not a fan of, like, the baked beans, but they might be different there. We used I, to do baked beans on toast constantly. It's like, I like, because we used to have pork and beans, which is basically baked beans with, like, pork in it. And, like, that was good, but it was like a picnic-y kind of food, or like a summer afternoon with a hot dog kind of vibe. Let's see. How are we feeling about this? Is anyone just bored? Other mind yet? No, I'm, uh, well, I'm not. And that's what's important here. I'm learning. Boiled egg wrapped in... You're sausage. learning? Yeah, okay. So no, this, yeah, no, the Scottish, uh, the Scotch eggs. Is oh, like, you're learning about, yeah, you're not learning from my art. Okay, gotcha. You're learning about like... Well, I am. I'm learning more about you. Are you? Okay. It is very colorful. I think it's beautiful. So... Thanks. Shut up. I'm reading. Boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat wrapped in breadcrumbs. So that's kind of like what I had at Miss Shirley's, but it was a deviled egg, but it was wrapped in meat. I mean, depending on which one you get, it has meat. And then it's like- They have Scottish eggs at Corner Pantry. And then it's wrapped in breadcrumbs and then fried. It was delicious. Or else it's like baked, crunchy, it was delicious. It's not Scottish, more Lincolnshire. It's spicy and tasty. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try all these things. Scottish, egg. Scottish eggs are really good. Pickled egg, covered in sausage, then battered and fried. Well, I mean, really anything fried is going to be a little bit tastier. They're like, they like baked beans on toast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that just, I mean, it doesn't sound gross to me at all, but it just doesn't sound like exciting to me. Because I used to have baked beans on like a toasted hot dog bun with a hot dog. It's kind of like my art, like a lazy version of like a chili dog. Hmm. Cheese and beans on toast is one of my faves. Trisha, we're coming to your place for breakfast. We're going to see how this goes. I know Rocky's going to love it. I mean, cheese, beans, and toast. Three things that he just kind of really likes. He basically lived off toast. Like when Rocky and I first met, he basically lived at my house just because. Because we were carpooling every day. And I was like, well, I'll just stay in that again. <laughs> and he like lived on toast my mom's like you can eat other things he's like i just like the toast i said mm, whatever i also felt bad because i was like eating all the food so i was like mm, i don't need to eat canned haggis is good for breakfast uh no i don't know what's haggis 
Sounds like a witch. Like you bottled, I know. You bottled I mean, a I've heard about it a lot. It's like, it's not an unfamiliar word, but I've never seen or looked into it. Cheryl says, do they still eat peas with everything? Plus mushy peas and bottles of pea juice on the restaurant tables. Freaked out my mom. <laughs> pea juice. Oh, pea juice. I was like, pea juice. Rocky has pea. Rocky has pea protein. Yeah. But, you know, gross. <laughs> no to Noah. <laughs> You can get salad. Uh, you know what? I I watch some British vloggers, and they have talked about salad cream, and it kind of, or it just makes me think of like a. Uh, I have no idea what's in it, but in my mind, it's like a coleslaw dressing, like a little sweet mayo-y with a dash of vinegar in it or something. I don't know. I don't know. But this is very exciting. I'm excited for all these things that we're gonna get to experience. And yeah, what is the deal with the peas? Is that just like a thing that is there mushy peas? I don't know if I would like because I don't like the mushy texture. Peas I adore though. Peas are yummy. You and adore? I adore. They're really good. They get a little pop of flavor. Canned haggis tastes like corned beef hash. Oh, that sounds good. I like corned beef. I love hash. Well, together we've got something delicious. I like where this picture is going. It's very, very vibrant. Which yes. I personally love. I if that was on a sweater, I would wear it. Yeah. Oh, okay. If well, let's, was, not, let's not get crazy. If that was a sweater, I would wear it, and I would blind people. In the I could definitely summer. see cleaning the water helping because it's dulling the colors quite a bit. You want me to go splash it out? No, no, no. I think I think it's fine for this purpose. I'm just saying, like, a learning is if you want to achieve a, the most vibrant color, keep your water clean. Yes. Okay. So yes, salad cream is used like salad dressing, like that. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. I get that. If you like pea soup, you'll like mushy peas. Mm, see, I like pea soup. Again, though, mushy peas, the texture, I would have to try. Just because I don't really like, like, because it just kind of, it's on the verge of baby food looking. I've never had it. So, you know, I'll try it, though. Got to try before I say no. You have to at least try haggis when you go to Scotland. <laughs> I like how Jenna's like, you're going to Scotland, by the way. Just so you know. Uh -uh. Obviously, Lily. We'll be trying to get everything correct. Well, they do serve peas a lot in restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I've noticed that. Even like in a restaurant, like, where do they go? These guys that I watch, sometimes I'll do a video together. Luke, Catlu, and Mr. Carrington will sometimes like go out on the town together. And I swear it's like a pizza place. And then it's like, I also got a cup of peas. And I'm like, what? well, okay. I mean, whatever. Hi, Megan. <laughs> Megan who? Who was Megan? Megan's makeup, makeup love. love. She says, hey. Hey, Meg. It's gonna be Meg. I'm gonna have another cookie. I think I'm on a sugar high, but I'm okay with this. All right. I got nowhere to be. I just need to dry this a little bit. And then we're gonna go in for like the final stretch here, guys. This isn't gonna last much longer. So if you're kind of like, okay, let's wrap it up. I feel you. Mm. Hold on. I'm eating right now, but I'm going to read Mrs. Comment here in a sec. This could be a mistake. Um, how do I test this out? Nah, that's fine. Let's not Use test this page it out. on whatever you want. Okay. Rocky and I love Indian food. Yes, Indian this food is what I want. Are Perfect. everywhere. I miss 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 Curry fries. So I'm not a fan of stuff on my fries, but like I'm I am growing to like it more. It's like I it's like I have to eat it right away, otherwise, because I don't like soggy fries. And we went to is it the local fry? Mm hmm And Rocky had kimchi fries and I had bulgogi fries. Oh my god, it was so good. Basically, the whole idea with this piece, just so you guys are aware, as I just wanted to be like, how can I layer as many colors as possible while still making it feel like somewhat coherent? So there's not like really a super rhyme or reason. I'm just like kind of layering whatever colors like I instinctually feel like are good. And so I'm trying to layer in, like I did all these like random crazy colors as a base underneath, knowing I was going to go over them with like a yellow for the flower. And then I was going to try to go over it with like a grassy green at the end. Um, and then with the tree, I was just like, whatever, I whatever color I wish trees actually were. And I've always been a fan of birch trees and aspen trees just because I, I think it's fascinating how they have that white papery um, trunk Burk. and the bark on them. 
you can get meat pies floating in mushy peas. I think I'm going to pass on that. I mean, who wouldn't? All right. Okay. You know how we have chili cheese fries here. They have curry sauce on the fries. Oh, that sounds really good. I still, I think I would want to dip it though. Dip it. Because I can't eat food that quickly because of my surgery. Uh, no. Okay. I read about jellied eels. Or no, I didn't even read about it. I just, I read jelly, jelly deals on a menu or something. And I was like, oh, what the hell? But no, it says jelly deals for everyone. <laughs> Rocky. That's a thing. I'm not going for now, jelly deals. Is it going to be similar to like the jellied like thing that we get at the Korean restaurant? Like the, I have no, it's like the collagen -y thing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Cause that but like, do you want like, that? I mean, that doesn't taste like anything. So you can, it's like tofu kind of takes on the flavor or whatever you mix with it. Korean food's the bomb, by the way. I'm just going to put that out there. In Canada, you pay tax on almost everything you buy. Now, do you mean like a sales tax or do you mean like an order? It came in the post and you got to pay the postman like 10 bucks to get your order that you've already paid shipping on and you sent, got it from the company. Because I feel like, I don't know if, I don't know. I really don't know how shipping works. How does life work? Clotted cream. We actually like clotted cream. You can make clotted cream. You just put... Um, whole or what is it? Half and half or like a heavy cream? No, it's it's called like full whipped cream or like a full cream or whatever. I don't remember what it's called. But a you put it, you put it in the oven basically overnight On forever. Low heat, yeah. And that turns into clotted cream. Yeah, Rocket and I went and got clotted cream from Wegmans. It was like eight something, and it because it was tiny... imported from from Britain. Right, it was a tiny little jar. Because it, they don't pasteurize stuff over there, and we have to pasteurize stuff here, so they it's probably not like super available here. But it was tasty. Now, do you put your clotted cream on first or the jelly? The jam. Or the jam, whichever you prefer. In the South there, don't they sell jelly pork feet? Oh, Missy Lulu, I don't even want to know. I uh, I don't think I would. I, I jellied anything, really. Even Jell-O. No Jell-O. Jell I don't think so. No jelly deals for me, thank you. Trisha, have you had jelly deals, though? Like, what is it? Because a part of me wants to be like, it's a delicious gummy snack. <laughs> and another part's like, no, it's not. It's slimy goo that's been jellyfied. Have you heard of the book A Fine Romance, Falling in Love with the English Countryside by Susan Branch? It's all about wandering through England and discovering, exploring, and experiencing. Oh, that sounds lovely. I haven't, though. I've not heard of that. I, oh, maybe I have, because I was watching, I've been watching a lot of episodes of Escape to the Country, because, you know, that's who I am. And, or no. Nope, I think it was from Jenna. She was talking about hidden villages or something of England. And I was watching that, and a woman, like the uh, host, has was talking about a book about the... Oh, I think it was a male author, though. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it. Yeah, these details are not... It was an fun. art and travel journal. That sounds fun. I don't know how this looks on camera, but especially, like, this part just, like, is visually pleasing to me. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, as I sit and look at it, and I love these colors here. Like, it does look very amateur, I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks like a child did it, but mm. I still am enjoying it. But what's the, the difference between a child's painting and an artist who chooses to paint like a child? Oh. And then once you take this off, it's just going to look like, you know, I didn't finish it. <laughs> well, that's where the wind blew. It's so weird to me. Like, sitting over here, I can definitely tell the difference between, like, the real life yeah. So, like in real life, it is so much more vibrant. There's like just so many colors. The camera's going to have a hard time picking all this up, but it's all. <laughs> and then basically if there's any like dark blue showing through that I didn't paint with the colors before, I'm just trying to like make sure those are kind of not obvious. Yep. I've been watching the Britain's Hidden Villages. Lots of villages and roads with hilariously vulgar names. I think we're just going to call it good because I don't want to keep going forever. Is there anything else you recommend I do to this piece, Campbell? Maybe for this part, what do you recommend? I'm okay with it, but I think it could be better. I think one or two dots of the neon orange to just bring Which it neon in. neon orange? This one? Yeah. No, no, no. That's red. Go down right there. Okay. Because you only have... That's like the one color, and it's only in one spot in the whole picture, which is fine. Right here. Through here. Got yeah. it. I, I appreciate that. So it's just to help tie it in so it doesn't feel like, oh, we just planted like a random little bit. But like literally just like a, maybe a couple of dots like right here. Oh, it's so muddy looking now. Why did you ruin everything? Ruined it. You could also get a new brush and just uh, wet the end of it. 
I mean, I don't think he listened. <laughs> this is very conceptual. It doesn't need to be like a realistic tree. It just got quiet again. We're all into the dots. If there was sound, it would not sound like anything. So sorry, ASMR fans. It's the great dotting. Oh my gosh, you made my color look like poo. Sorry, you might want to wipe that out. Mm. But not yet, because I have to go back in for more than that. Get a clean brush and just wet it with a spray paint or a spray bottle. And then, Kim, what we're going to do, I think we're going to get crazy and we're going to do two leaves in this color. Here, grab this brush. You can just leave it in there. And then get it wet with the spray bottle. So just, so just say I have clean water. Yeah, spray it over the towel. And that will give you a, a little bit of a cleaner, more pure color. I tried to clean as best I could. But you're, you're done. You're done. We're going to do two leaves in this color. Put them in the perfect spot. And then the other one's going to be over here. No, I'm just saying odd numbers are usually better than even, but... They represent you and me, so there's oh. only two. Oh, where's Mason? Her no. spirit. She's gone. Oh, sad. All right. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, we'll Round of we'll applause do a third one. We'll do a third one. Oh. There we go. You can, crazy. you can just leave them in there. Okay. Because oh, I got to clean the water out. Yay! Yay! Another one. For Everyone the regrets asking, but here it is. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, thanks, Kimmy. Now, what do I do with this? I have to get this out of the way. Mm. Wait, let's swap sides, Kimmy. Wait, let me actually take a picture of my piece because I'll never, you know. Well, I'm going to take pictures of both of them and post them on Jane's Facebook group. Because that's what I do. Don't want a photo or a video. <laughs> I don't want Oh, I love it. Look at you. Kind of. Not really. Hidden artist. It's no Tina, but you know. That's All sweet. right. I'm going to dry it because I don't want it to smudge. If you want to finish like the leaves up here, you could do that. No, it's done. Okay. It's finished. But I do need to dry it because I don't want to. I can see wet dots. Remember, remember the store pink dot? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And we used to get like egg salad sandwiches and stuff. At yes. like one in the morning in North Hollywood. That was good times. I would say if I was going to like frame this piece, I would just cut it off here and go like this side down. And I'd probably cut it off before it goes off the page. Why don't you get like real crazy about it? Those colors are so pretty though. Yes. Like yes, you just couldn't layer are. like water. You couldn't layer watercolors in the same way. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, you could do acrylics. It would be a bit more work. But they would look different. Like there is something <laughs> special about this formula. Right. I was just going to say like this can help pull color up so you get like mixed colors. It's almost like on the verge of chalky, but it's still vibrant. Oh, well, yeah. You really laid that neon orange thick. I don't want to touch it. I'm afraid it'll like pull it off. Don't you touch it. Just want to dry it real Trisha good. says, well, that was a treat. Art by Kimball and Rocky. Hope you, oh. if you're still awake. <laughs> I think my I painted for like an hour. What time is it? Good lord. Why didn't you stop me? Because you don't paint very often, and I think you should. Well, I have to shower and finish my work. It's not my problem. <laughs> I'm just going to go snuggle up in the bed. It was fun. Like, I didn't feel any pressure. I was just like, what looks cool? What's, you know, like, what's vibing? All right. I think it's dry. I'm going to swap this over to this yes, side. Yes, let me... um. Take this off here. One second. Everyone bear with. Bear with. That's what we started with. The schmears, the schmearing. I think it's good that I have like another artist like using the same thing to see a completely different painting. It is. Let me get this light up and out of the way. And here we come down. Kimball, your hair is looking fabulous. Is it was, it? Thank you. It's called the I don't care anymore. And remember, guys, you can just, you know, green screen whatever you want onto his headband here. Like and subscribe for more quality content such as this. <laughs> All right, let's see the piece, Kimball. I'm uh, fixing my hair. Thank you. All right, this is teal on pink. 
Oh, Campbell. <gasps> Another one for the fridge. Although our fridge is completely barren now. Oh. We're not happy about it. And anyway. Then, mm, mm, we've got that one. Let's get in and see these colors. Let's see if we can see. So this is what that looks like-ish. Gorgeous. Yes, I'm going to have to adjust the and colors. Let me get up to the tree here. I don't know if it's going to actually focus, but you know, you get the idea. Mm. Let me see if I can get in close. Move it closer to me, Kimball, because my cord's stopping me. Uh -huh. There you go. What if we bring it up into this? What if we turn this white light? Good heavens. Light, not light, but you know. There, now it's like the true color. Is it? I mean, it's more accurate. It's just fun, though. It's just fun to layer all these things. It's like so many different textures and... It's like a rainbow. Anywho, that's that. Wait, let's put this back the way it was. There, there we go. Campbell, what yes. do you want to say? What's happening? Wow, there's How a lot feeling? happening. I'm feeling a little bit stressy, Madonna. I'm feeling good, actually. Um, today was a, another long day out of the house, but it was the last one. And tomorrow we have a lot of discussing with our realtor. So, Well, you know what? How does she feel about it? That's the question. She, she upset. She happy about it. Oh, our painting is so pretty back there. That no, we love him. him. I don't think you can see him, but there he is. He's a little violinist. Mm. Love him. Um, I am feeling good. I was a little nervous. I'm always, I mean, we're selling a house like that. Of course, you're going to be a little nervous. Um, but I'm excited now. We'll, we'll see where things are going to go. Hopefully everything works out for the best. True. Oh, it's just there's a lot that's going to go on. I will keep doing the lives as long as I can. We are going to be in a hotel for at least a month. Hope the Wi-Fi is good. <laughs> We if, may we may vlog about the move. Mm. I don't know yet, but if yes. we do that, I almost feel like it may be a separate channel if we decide to do it. So we will see what happens. But yeah. I, it's just a huge commitment, like emotionally, and with going into a new job and a new place. That's like I don't know if I want to commit to editing. We might, as well. you know, we might start vlogging once we get on that plane. Like we'll we don't, see. we don't need to vlog the whole like selling the house. If I didn't do it for a living. I think I'd be more open to like editing videos, but it's like, I don't want to get home after an eight and nine hour day and like edit more videos. It's just, it's just yeah. like, I need to be in, in the mood. So right. we'll see what happens. Well, you may not be editing or you, you might be doing some other things. That's true. We'll uh, but yes, we, we, we I mean, there will, there will, there will at least be photos. Okay. Well, how does, how do they feel about it? Kimball? Emotionless. That's a lot Soulless. of fun textures over there. You're going to miss all these textures. Thank you. Replace it with English mm -hmm. Old World Charm. Yes. No, I'm going for, depending on our place, I'm going for cottage core all out. But like, it's going to be hard to do like a mix of masculine and feminine because that's, you know, that's what we do. And then I also want a mix of like fantasy mixed in with reality. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get like the cute little cottagey you know cottage don't put that out there you, ha I, you have to envision i mean okay intention. i don't think we're gonna be able to get an actual cottage but we might be able to get a building with good character let me just no no we're going to get exactly what the universe wants us to have as long as it doesn't have a yard that we have to mow the lawn or something a garden without a yard a garden garden yeah i don't want to take care of a garden. backyard what's that uh, all right, Kimball. Thank you so much. Good job, Kimmy. Oh, you know She's and beautiful. Thank all of you for joining us this evening. We miss you guys. We hope you're doing well. <sighs> and we'll see you next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kimball, give us a sign out music. Go. Not on that piece. Unless something bad happens, like we're too tired. Not bad, but you know, exhausting. Exhausting. Get her. I got two hair and I don't care. <laughs> But in the end, it doesn't even matter. End it. <laughs> <laughs>